short piece is about two classic problems of perception. Uh, the first one is about the reticular activation system, uh, a filter that causes all sorts of problems with our perception of the world. And the second one is the fundamental attribution error, uh, which, as the name implies, is a problem for all of us. A joke to illustrate the reticular activation system. A young man takes a flat for the first time uh, in central town. Um, the landlord uh, is showing him around. A tube train goes past, rattles the whole building. The landlord says, don't worry about it, I promise you, on my word, two weeks from now you won't even hear it. So the young man says, that's excellent, I'll take the flat, goes and stays with the mate for a fortnight. The reticular activation system is a filter that takes out a lot of information that we don't need. In the old days, I mean thousands of years ago, we only had three or four cognitions a day. You know, is it, is it like, do I need to get up? Is this chicken making enough eggs or do I need to eat it? Um, and then, then off to bed. Things are infinitely more complex these days. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. And the reticular activation system just filters out things that we don't need. And the most obvious example would be the ticking of a clock, for example. The problem is, uh, we start to filter out things that are important. Uh, for example, risk. You know, risk that on day one of a job, we're actually quite worried about. A couple of weeks later, we can begin to start ignoring it. And as we saw in one of the earlier uh, pieces, um, we take our cues to a great extent from people around us. So if the experienced people around us are not worried about things, this can actually accelerate the process. And within a very short period of time, we're not bothered at all about something that we, sh we actually should be really quite bothered about. The fundamental attribution error, as the name implies, is a problem that faces all of us. Now, we're all full of different uh, perceptions, different prejudices... If, you know, all, all sorts of stuff that messes with our head and, and stops us from being objective. But the fundamental attribution error applies to all. And what it says is that we give too much weight to the person in a situation and not enough to the environment, uh, unless it's us, in which case we give too much weight to the environment and not take enough ownership of the situation ourselves. So, for example, a road rage is, is a perfect example. You're driving along, you accidentally cut somebody up, there's lights flashing, horns blaring, finger gestures and the like. Your thoughts are likely to be something like, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm tired, I'm stressed. If you were in my head, you'd understand what's going on. You were in my blind spot. Besides, no damage was done anyway, so just chill out. And a whole bunch of explanations and, you know, and some excuses as well. If, somebody, if you're driving along and somebody cuts you up, your reaction is likely to be completely differently, much more blame. So in summary, we are walking around every day thinking we are having an objective analysis of the risk around us, and we're not at all, not even close.